So today, I'm up in the mountains doing exploring this late autumn afternoon. You can see all around me. I'm actually looking for several different things. One of the things I'm looking at right now is for remnants of the Korean War. There's some like foxholes and stuff down here I want to scout out. So anyway though, Alright, so I recently got this backpack, and it's supposed to be Russian surplus military. But a viewer told me that it was, and it was a cheap Chinese copy, and the viewer was from Russia. I really don't know. But I figure, let's take an opportunity like this to do a little stress on this. See how well it really is made. If it's a cheap Chinese copy, it should just uh, break apart here. But if it's a well-made knockoff, then maybe it'll last okay. So let's do a little stress test. And what is the stress test? Well, quite simply, as I look for this foxhole, let's just throw it down there and see how it goes. That's one reason I like tactical backpacks versus like your typical back, you know, hiking backpacks. I can do stuff like that, and if it's any good, it won't burn. Yeah, I think I found my foxhole. Now, see if I can fall without breaking my, or if I can go down here without breaking myself. So let's get up to this real quick. Okay. Down at the, I'm from up there, down here. See how it looks. Hey, everything's looking good, which is good news because I want this thing to succeed. Let's turn it over here. I don't see any rips, I don't see any tears. So far, so good. In fact, so good. Let's just do it one more time. This time we'll throw it up the hill. And sorry, I'm on stable ground. I'm on unstable ground, so it's gonna get a little sloppy and film it. Oh! Whoa, yeah, don't go back down there. Okay, that's enough for this test. Thought it might be fun. Answer some questions about how good this is. Uh, you know, it might be a Chinese copy, but so far it doesn't seem like a cheap Chinese copy, which is good news. So, I'm going to continue with my hike and comment on that. Have a great one, guys. Out. But of course, it leads, begs the question, hey, wait a minute, where's this going? The trail's kind of like disappeared too. Jeepers creepers. Oh, I think I just found the trail again. Yep. All right, I got two options. I can try to walk down this or slide. And since I want this backpack to get a workout to see how good it really is, because it's a cheap Chinese copy, I was told, let's test it. Let's just slide on the back of it. Hold on, I got a better idea. Let me turn this camera off for a second. I found it. It's right here. I was on the right path, actually. This is a trail. But it's all wet and everything, so it's just hard to navigate. But go up 40 feet, 30 feet or so up there, wherever I was. Man, actually, it's like 50 feet when you threw where I threw it away. I went boom, 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 boom over there. And I had to slide down. It's too difficult to walk. So my wife's going to be happy when I come home with my pants all messy and everything. So, let's check this out. This held up. That's cool. This held up. You can see where it's muddy. But, other than some mud. Well, you know, hey guys. I hope this proves one thing for you. Whenever I do a gear review or I give you information, I'm not just some armchair internet guy. I actually do it for real. And because I do it for real, you get to see the end result. The screw ups, the things that go right, the things that go wrong, what happens to the equipment. I'm the real deal.